Today I'm going to show you how you can use Visme's new infographic templates for businesses and nonprofits to create your own stunning visual content. These can take the place of financial reports or campaign results or annual reports or anything that is in a text-based format that you want to make visually appealing and captivating. So how do you do this? All you have to do is insert your own information into each of the different blocks that you see here. So all I have to do is click on the text and it automatically highlights it for me. And then I type in my information. So let's say I want to visualize a report on the percent of Americans who earn more than $100,000 a year. So I type in the text and there it is. And then I can also modify it by hitting return where I want. And I can change the font, the size, and the placement. So for example, let's say I want um, Helvetica. So I look for it here and I apply that font. I can change the size as I want, you know, make it bigger or smaller. Um, I can also change the color of the background if I want. And let's say I want to make it darker. So I just adjust this, make it lighter or darker. And then I hit OK. And I can also apply the same color that I used up here. I can apply it below by clicking on this. And since we have a global color swatch here, we can just apply the previous color, which is saved here. Now we go to the next section. And here you see that we can modify the data values in this radio chart or graph. And all we have to do is click on that graph. And you see the value here. You can either use the slider to adjust it, or you can input your own value. So let's say I want to put here um, 90%. And there it is. You can also change the color of the text. You can put the option to show the value in there or to not, or to change the width of the stroke. So I can also um, change icons. For example, this um, image of the world, I can eliminate it. I can just delete it. And then I can replace it with my own image or icon. I can go to the shape um, tool on the panel. And then I can also search for, let's say, United States. And there are all the options. So then I pick this one. And I adjust the size and place it where I want. I can then adjust the color. So there it is. And now we can just go to the next section and keep adjusting the content or customizing it with our own content. Um, so let's say this array here, this is called an array. These are individual units of people. And let's say I want to put here, instead of uh, five people in the second row, I want to put um, 10 or seven. So then I just click on the value and then I input my own value and it automatically adjusts for me. And then let's say that you want to change um, one of these icons into not just male, but male and female. You want them mixed, so all you have to do is just click on this option here, and there it is. Now you can also, um, let's say you don't have enough space and you want to add another section to your infographic. All you have to do is click on this tab at the bottom of your infographic and slide it or drag it down so you can make your infographic um, longer or shorter. So you just adjust the height easily by, by sliding this or dragging this. So now all I have to do is um, select all my objects and place them where I want to. So I drag it down here. And there I have a whole new section. And then I copy this uh, divider. And then I place it down here. And now all I have to do is insert my new information. So let's say I want to insert a chart or graph. So I go to the chart tool and then I click on make a chart. And I can choose any of these options we have here. We have seven different types of charts. So let's say I want to insert um, a donut chart. And you see how it's animated. So I can also go to settings and let's say I don't want the animation. I can turn it off. Um, I can also um, turn on the value so that it shows there inside the chart. Um, so let's say I want the value to not show and I want the animation to be on. So I insert it as it is and then I place it and resize it. 
And let's say I want another chart right next to it. So then I go back and I want, uh, for example, a line chart. So um, same thing, I want the animation on. And I want all the other options activated. So then I insert it and resize is needed. And then let's say I want to see how this looks in preview mode. So all I have to do is go here and click on preview. And then I'm, I see how my infographic is looking so far. And if you go to the chart that we recently inserted, you see that when you put your cursor over each of the data values, you see the rollover value. So it has an interactive um, characteristic to it as well. So there we have our infographic. And now um, all I have to do is just go to publish so that I can share it with other people by um, copying this link. Or I can also embed it um, into a website or blog by using the embed code that we have here. And I can also download it as a JPEG, PNG, or PDF for HD15. If this is uh, something that I want to post on social media, for example, or I want to insert into a document or email to other people, this is an ideal um, format. So that's how you can create your own infographic for your business and nonprofit. So stay tuned to more tips and hacks to help you in further projects. Thank you.